All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is I got another old, cool Magic the Gathering product to open up and check out with you all. Today, what I got my hands on is a Magic the Gathering Portal Second Age gift box starter set. I never knew that this was a thing. I knew that they had like two player starter sets from Portal, but I found out recently that they had a gift box set as well, which is a little bit different. I'm really curious to open this up and check it out with you all. I love documenting and checking out and opening up old Magic the Gathering products. Check out a bunch of my older videos on my channels as well of some other cool products that I open up and enjoy with you all. Anyways, let's just dive into this and have a lot of fun with this. Again, this is Magic the Gathering Portal Second Age uh, starter level gift box. It says, your first stop in the dynamic world of Magic the Gathering. Very cool. All the Madness colors right there. Red, green, white, blue, black. And looks like some sort of um, palace or something in the background inside the portal. Like an actual portal diving into the world of Magic. Very cool. I really like the portal sets as well. I really like the flavor text. I really like how the card setups are. I really like... Um, yeah, I just really like the layout of the cards. We'll kind of dive into that as well. Let's just check out a little bit more information on the back of this. Magic the Gathering on the mythical island of Kalaman. An age of peace has come to an end and inhabitants prepare for battle for mastery of their realm. Can you harness the terrible forces of war? Will you turn... Uh, will you fall beneath their powers? The Portal Second Age gift box contains everything two players need to start playing the world's most popular trading card game. I believe it still is the world's most popular trading card game as well. Magic the Gathering. In this strategy game, you play with decks of illustrated cards instead of a board. These collectible cards represent magical spells and fantastic creatures. Each player needs a deck to play. Object of the game, you and your opponent are rival wizards dueling for the control of a magical plane. Your planeswalkers. Reduce your opponent's score from 20 to 0 before he or she does the same to you. Very cool. And let's just see what's inside. It's in contents, two 30-card Portal Second Age decks. So it looks like two pre-constructed decks. Two 15-card Portal Second Age boosters. Each with strategy tip card. Very cool. So two portal age, uh, second age boosters. Two playmats. I'm pretty sure the playmats are nothing more than just paper, like uh, just like folded paper playmats with life counters and a library and graveyard spot. Two scorekeeping beads. It looks like some glass beads are in here. Um, a play guide to take you through a step-by-step -step game. Very cool. An easy-to-read rule book for quick reference. Awesome. Everything you need for pretty much new players. And this is back in the day when they had these starter, advanced, and expert products as well. Kind of interesting that they had that. And I'm happy they phased them out because it should just be all under just one thing. It doesn't want to scare away certain people from buying certain products. Two or more players, about 20 minutes length of gameplay. Very cool. A Richard Garfield game. On the side, just Portal Second Age. Got Wizards of the Coast logo down there. And on the bottom, when was this made? This was made, does it say? 1998. Oh, quite a while ago. Very cool. I think I can hear the beads rumbling around. So anyways, just take out this cellophane and have some fun with it. I really like the gift form, factory form of these boxes as well. It makes me think of a board game or something like that. Wait, let's see if I can go ahead and open this up. There we go. And we're on to the races. Here we go. I don't know if I've ever opened up any Portal Second Age stuff on this channel. It's possible, but I'm not 100% sure. And I really like how these come in a nice little laminated box. It makes me think of like a gift set or like a box set. What, I mean, it is a gift set. Like a board game or something. Keep it on your shelf. Bring it out when players are curious about Magic the Gathering. Even, even nowadays, it would be a good entry point for players to learn the game. Or play with friends that never played it before. And let's just take out the box. And this is what it comes inside. It says, the Portal Official... Guide to Portal Second Age Card Strategy and Techniques. It's like actually a thick little booklet. It's actually got uh, square edges. Very cool. Um, thicker, glossy pages. Very nice. Even a place of all the cards. That's pretty sweet. Makes me think of like the pamphlets that come inside of uh, f uh, fat pack boxes. You only have one pack in here? Oh, <laughs> very bizarre. <laughs> Okay, so I get the gift box. It's funny, we'll get to that in a second. But let's just check out a little bit of this. Uh, card Strategies and Techniques. Official Guide to Portal Second Age. Magic the Gathering. Some information right here. Very cool. I like how these are all glossy pages. Contents. Forward by Richard Garfield. Overview General Play. Uh, lands, Creature, Sorceries, Lingo, Dingo. What's some of the lingo? Let's see what they say. Page 10. Lingo got Big Butt, a creature with toughness four greater, it's like Golden Bear, <laughs> what? Bounce one, okay. Uh, beat down, when a creature attacks and deals damage, uh, turn after turn, okay. Combo, two or more cards that become stronger when played together. Control deck, 
uh, countering just some lingo very fun that they have that deck strategies air superiority i think that actually is a deck that they made that you can buy interesting deck uh, bruise brothers disrupting fire good cards <laughs> got the night stalker very cool night stalker cards as well and just a little bit of information about decks. I think decks that they printed that you can probably buy. Organized play, you got leagues, some DCI stuff. Kind of tells you how brackets work. First round, semifinals, finals, and then the winner. Very cool. And just some information here about each color it looks like. You got white, a little bit about white cards. Very cool. A little bit of mana, cool looking knight right there. The art is definitely what got me into this game when I was younger. You got blue, some sort of sorcerer wizard guy hanging out there. A nice little zeppelin find in the sky. Very cool, interesting little booklet right here. You got green, some sort of elf warrior, red, some sort of goblin. Goblin guys hanging out there. N nose piercing, very cool. And then black's probably going to be something demonic, crazy looking, almost sliver-like, nasty thing. He's got like a weapon in his hands. What the heck? I didn't think magic cards had weapons. Okay, where to go from here? Put this here. Now collecting magic, and this is all the sets, right? All the cards in this set, I believe. Very cool to have a little glimpse at that. Ancient carvings. You got Angel of Mercy. I love the portal set. And we'll be opening up and checking the cards as well. You got the sword and shield next to power and toughness. Absolutely love that. Love how thick the text is. Love the bolding of it. Great for new players. Absolutely great. Very cool. <laughs> Very crazy card. Darkmore Sorcerer. I really like the portal sets. Both of them. And I also like the starter sets as well. With the star symbol. Fantastic stuff. Love the art as well. Golden Bears. Goblin Lores in this set. I remember that card. Was it General? Goblin General. Very cool. Hand of Death. Bunch of lands. Got Muck Rats. Very cool. Oops, skipped a couple pages. But it's okay. And this is back when the rarity wasn't really... There was no color for rarity. All the cards just had the same symbol on them, regardless of rarity. Predatory Night Stalker, very cool card. Like the Night Stalkers. Would like one day to make a Night Stalker deck. River Bear, something with Island Walk, I believe. Swarm of Rats, that might be the first printing of Swarm of Rats. I could be wrong. And a bunch of blue cards right here. Very cool. Not sure any of the... I'm not sure. Okay. And then you got an index in the back. So very cool. Came with a nice little sort of glossy book. Uh, one thing I did notice when I opened this up right away. First off, uh, you can see it comes with two little beads. Green and pink. Right? Or purple. Small little counting beads. Made of glass. I mean, it's like you put them in an aquarium or something. And this is what I thought was interesting. Because I knew that they had these. The Portal Second Age game for two players. I actually want to get my hands on one of these. But it turns out, literally... The only difference between this and this box is right here. It comes with two beads, an extra pack, this booklet, and um, the box itself. But it's very interesting. They literally took the same packaging. They didn't. It's like the same package, threw it in a box with an extra pack, two beads, and a book. Very funny. I actually want to get one of these and open up on the channel. Very cool. So it's like two birds with one stone. It looks like the extra booster pack right here. The starter level booster pack. Okay. And then we got this one as well. Let's just check this out. This has like the two pre-constructed decks inside of it. I might as well take these little beads out, dump them out. Very cool, hanging out in the space right here. Magic the Gathering Portal Second Age trading card game for two players. Yeah, very cool. Got all the mana symbols right there. Same looking art on the box and on the book. Boop, boop. Uh, object of the game, already one of that. It contains two 30 card pre constructor decks, two play mats, a play guide, a rule book, and one 50 card booster pack. It's cool that they give you two, one for each player. And it tells you about the object of the game. Pretty much all it says is the same it says on the back of this box right here. Very bizarre and interesting. Didn't expect to see them just literally putting one of these inside of there. So, anyways, just to take out the cellophane and have some fun and check it out. Hope you're all doing wonderful today as well. And I hope you really enjoy this stuff just as much as I do. It's two pre-constructed decks. Here we go. And very similar to the other portal, uh, the cellophane is completely shrink-wrapped around here. Very hard to get off. Oh, not too bad, actually. There we go. Another booster pack. This one is well squished in there. Has a little bit of wrinklage to it. Definitely the same. Both starter level. Very cool. Love the gold foiling on it. Rule book not included. Okay. Got these do not open packs right here. Stop. Before you play the guided game, take a look at the deck combination red and black cards. Switch Goblin Rider with a Raging Goblin without changing. Okay. <laughs> Looks like they made a mistake. Uh, 
the at the printing press they must have accidentally switched the place of these two golems so when you go step by step with the play guides it will mess up very cool nice that they put the little change note in there you got the rule book a small little rule book as well a little glossy just a simple rule rule book very cool match the gathering talking about uh rules attacking your opponents blocking uh clean up color creatures draw land playing uh creatures and sorcery set up turns a little bit of information everything you probably want to know very nice to have that in there and inside there's one of these little Send it in with your thoughts. Very cool. Playing creatures and sorceries. Very cool. So tiny little rule book that it comes with. You got the small little play guide. Very small little play guide. And it's probably step by step, I believe. Interesting that there's only one play guide. You'd think that each player would have one. Okay. Sample game layout kind of gives you exactly all of um, what's going to happen step by step. Getting started. Each player takes one of the decks and opens it. Do not shuffle the decks. Uh, or alter the order of the cards. But now you have to. You have to alter it and switch Goblin Rider with Raging Goblin. Remember, where uh, when a line is on bold and red like the one above, it is instruction for one or both players. Okay. And it tells you how to play. Uh, get a life. <laughs> get a life. Start your life at 20. Uh, player 8 takes the play guide. Yeah, so you kind of pass the play guide back and forth. And it gives you through a step-by-step -step instruction. Probably not going to play out the game, but we're definitely going to check out the cards and art. Very cool. Ron Spencer drew that little elf warrior right there and it gives you turn by turn tells you about combat uh, exchanging damage and stuff like that tells you pretty much runs you through the first game of magic very cool nice little step-by-step -step guide absolutely love it great for great uh for new players very cool and let's see who ends up winning the game who wins the game maybe i'll lead off with okay now you're off. Okay, I like this. It leaves it open-ended. It says, play it the rest of the game on your own. Very cool. So it doesn't tell you who wins or who doesn't. These are these small little play mats. Obviously, they're nothing special. Literally just like a piece of little flimsy paper. Maybe a little bit of rules on the back. An advertisement for other starter stuff. Fifth edition. Tells you blue information. Literally just other uh, decks and just products. Yeah, these are the little play mats I've never been a super fan of. Because they're literally just like paper floppy play mats. But you can start your life total here. Very cool. like how it kind of magnifies it as well. And then you move the beat down, obviously, along with your life total. Very cool. So it has those in there. The little glass beads. And let's just bust open these starter decks. Absolutely love the portal lands. Absolutely fantastic. So, might as well do what they say and switch Goblin Raider with Raging Goblin. Uh, okay, so... Raging Goblin. Let's see if I can do this. Where is it? Okay. There we go. Now it should be the correct order. Anyway, let's just go through this deck. I just want to do that for fun. A beautiful swamp. Susan Van Camp. Uh, dilapidated place. Literally turning into the ground itself. Absolutely love the portal. Love the symbol right down there. Great cardstock. Can't go wrong. Nice little mountain by Rob Alexander. Beautiful snowy peaks. Nice little plated worm. Fantastic. I love how there's this little border line right here letting you know this is all the card text. If there is any, and this is just a flavor text. I hate to see when the bird that could get uh, this worm. Yeah, look at this. He's just playing with the goblin right there. It's a 4-5. Again, I love how they have the little sword and the shield letting you know that this is the attack and this is defense or power and toughness. Beautiful. Daniel Gleon, a 4 and a green creature. Ranging goblin. It's just a 1-drop. Uh, Red uh, for a 1-1 creature that's unaffected by summon sickness. Swing in his axe. This card's been reprinted so many times. Jeff Miracola. Beautiful swamp. Absolutely love this. I love this art. Uh, crazy. It's like an old building with like some sort of observatory or just dome tower. Broken into the swamps. Getting reclaimed by the earth. Susan Van Camp. Love her arts. Got Goblin Cavaliers. So it looks like a goblin deck. This art was in one of the booklets. Two and a red. It's a 3-2 creature. That's it. Just a standard uh, goblin. By... D Trisley. Beautiful forest. Fantastic. Look at the detailing on that. Love it. It's almost like a little bridge. It looks like a rope bridge going across there. Very cool if you could see someone walking there. Beautiful Blue Skies by Quentin Hoover. Fantastic. Mind Rot. Great card. Really like to see this in a starter deck. Brings in some extra things. So, so far, there's only been Haste. And the rest have been creatures. Mind Rot's a pretty cool card. It makes your opponent discard two cards from his or her hand. Classic one. He's in pain. Douglas Shoulder. You can tell it's his art. Very cool. Another beautiful mountain by Rob Alexander. 
couple trees on the tops right there. Beautiful swamp, crazy. It's got like some Venus fly traps, a dead skeleton over there, and in the background you have some sort of dilapidated house. And if you look closely on the tree, there's a tiny little lizard by Susan Van Camp. I love her art. Goblin Piker, look at this detail art. It's a 2 1 creature for one in a red, just a goblin. Hmm, <laughs> cool. Hanging out there, Glint Off the Sword by D. To Lizzie. Another beautiful mountain. Secret hole in the mountain makes me think of the seed vault. Yeah, very cool. Rob Alexander drew it. Cool. Uh, Ogre Berserker. It's unaffected by summon sickness, so it has haste. And he's like some sort of creature goblin with some sort of razor wheel. Saw looks like a, some sort of saw. 4 <laughs> 2 for 4 and a red. Uh, by David A. Cherry. Crazy looking art. Got Lynx, love Lynx, um, cool cat, cool animal. One in the green for two one with Forest Walk, and Forest Walk is the def defending player has any force in play. Lynx can't be blocked, and I just love how any abilities is like super bolded, letting any new player their eye just goes right to it and letting them know right away. Uh, it's a two one creature by Rebecca Guai, and I love how it has a sword and the shield. These will always be some of my favorite sets. Beautiful forest, got some sort of house in the background, a little bit of light going through, letting you know that they have their campfire, and it actually looks like there's somebody. Walking on the little wooden path right there. Little elf or gnome or something. Quinton Hoover. Beautiful art. Love these lands. Got the Night Stalkers. Oh, yeah. This guy has, like, some sort of assault weapon. Three and a black. Prowling Night Stalker. Can't be blocked except by other black creatures. Very cool. It's a 2-2 two -two creature by uh, Keith Parkinson. Walking in the swamp. Interesting, crazy skin. Maybe you think of Beetlejuice. Got Moaning Spear, Rebecca Guai. Beautiful art. Two in a black. It's a 2-1 creature with flying. Very cool to see a creature with flying in here. Gives a little bit more advanced gameplay to a starter deck. Cool to see the creature with flying. Beautiful art, too. She's a fantastic artist. Like a spirit walking in the forest. Hand of Death. Creepy looking art. The poor bear is being swept away from the Hand of Death in the forest. Two in a green. Destroy any one creature that isn't black. It's a sorcery by Hezer Hudson. I'm pretty sure you're versing a non-black deck. So pretty much any of their creatures. Another swamp again. Checked out that one. Uh, cor cor corrosion. Two in a black. Look at opponents. Look at your opponent's hand. Choose a card. Your opponent discards that card. Really cool. Another discard. These are pretty fun decks by uh, Jeffrey R. Bush. And uh, these creepy little, like, nasty-looking guys. They got, like, um, crazy guns. Very similar. Definitely taking the same sort of feel. These artists definitely had the same sort of source material to work off of. This white guy and those guys right there. Definitely, in, like, the same sort of art. Got Dark More Bats. Chasing some sort of moth in the sky. Beautiful moon in the background out of focus. Love it. Una Fricker to 1-1. One, one. The bat thrives on what underestimates it. It's a flying creature for 1 and a black 1-1. One, one. Beautiful. That's beautiful art. Got Darkmoor Scorpion. Beautiful Scorpion. Love the art too. They make these sets just so flavorful. You have to to get new players into it. 1 and a black is a 2-1 creature. This uh, Scorpion this big, uh, you won't find curled up in a boot. Maybe around your boot. But not in it by Randy Gallios. Big old bark scorpion looking thing. Cool. Beautiful mountain again by Rob Alexander. Again, a beautiful forest. Got a little bit of the waterfall. Another little hut in the background. Very cool. Can we see a person hanging out in the background? I'm not sure, but absolutely love it. Love the depth. Beautiful art. Quentin Hoover. Love these lands. Another Susan Van Camp land. Another mountain. Obsidian giant. He's got a big old staff. And he's with his smaller friends right there. Beautiful orange and red sunset and yellow in the background. Four and a red. It's a 4-4. Four, four. David A. Cherry. Volcanic Hammer. Beautiful one and a red. Deals three damage to any one creature or player by Edward P. Beer Jr. This shining hammer. It's like Thor's hammer or something like that. Cool. The molten magma in the background. Got Goblin Rider hanging out there. He's got a weapon as well. Looks like he's just hanging out in the mist. Makes you think of Star Wars. One and a red. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Can't block. Can't block. He's scared. And the guy, beautiful Norwood Ranger by Ron Spencer, hanging out in the tree over the canopy, just checking out things. Some trees uh, bear deadly fruit. <laughs> cool. So that is the first deck. And let's just go ahead and check out the other deck as well. Looks like some sort of white and maybe blue deck. I'm just kind of guessing. So these are definitely some fun little decks. And then I guess they also want you, after playing your first game, probably open up these packs and include them in your decks if you can. Let's check out this one. Beautiful planes right here. Interesting sort of buildings in the background. Makes you think of the box art right there by Fred Fields. Beautiful. And yep, an island. Beautiful. Got a balloon or a parachute. Parachuting down on top of the island. Absolutely fantastic by John Avon. Great art. 
tiny little island, big one in the background, by uh, Torkin Highguard. It's a 3-3 creature by Ron Spencer. He's got a huge old sort of musket or something, a crazy sword. Look at the chrome on that. Fantastic. Three and a white. Beautiful art. By Talus Explorer. Just feeling the art so much by this. One in a blue to one one creature with flying. When it, uh, Explorer comes into play from your hand, look at your opponent's hand. Very cool. Makes you think... Um, it goes really well with what the picture is. It's flying in the sky. It's peeking with binoculars, letting you see the opponent's hand. Douglas Schulter drew it. Fantastic. Beautiful forest. Oh, wow. This is a three-color mana deck. Would you look at that? And it looks like a little bit of scuff right there or something. Beautiful Quentin Hoover forest. Again, the one with the bridge. By Bee Sting. <laughs> this poor little guy is getting stung by bees everywhere. Look at the face of horror by uh, uh, Chris uh, Dornis. Three and a green. Bee Sting deals two damage to any one creature or player. Four mana for two damage. Um, kind of expensive, but I mean, not too bad uh, for green, I guess. Fun art, fun art. Got a beautiful plains by Fred Fields. Small little homestead in the background. Love it. The mountainscape in the background as well. Fred Fields. Got a golden bear, classic golden bear. Three and a um, green. <laughs> it's a 4 3 creature bear. Beautiful. By Unafrica. Beautiful island, some sort of plane or. Dragon flying in the sky, John Avon. Angel of Mercy, four and a white, it's a three, three. Flying, when Angel of Mercy comes into play from your hand, you gain three life. Drawn by Melissa A. Benson. Her, her artist symbols and a lot of her art right there. Beautiful, the rays of sun from the heavens. And beautiful island by John Avon. Got some sort of fishing ship or tank or something in the background. Love how the rock's in the foreground. A cute little bear cub, I love bears. These older starter set bears are fantastic. Maybe I'll get the... Uh, the bear with island walk in this one too. And there's a little bee flying out there and he's just so curious. Love the art. Ron Spencer, probably one of my favorite artists. If not, my favorite artist from Magic the Gathering. Love it. Love the detailing. Even his fur is fantastic. One in a green. It's a 2-2 two -two bear. Every little cub has its mother teeth to guard it. Very cool. Beautiful plains. Love the track going on there. It looks like it freshly rained overnight. A bunch of flock of birds. Uh, Fred Fields. Beautiful art. And the little homestead in the background. Screeching Drake, crazy looking green dragon. Three and a blue, flying. When Screeching Drake comes into play from your hand, draw a card, then choose and discard a card from your hand. So it pretty much loots when it comes into play. It's a 2 2. Anson Maddox, crazy art. I mean, come on, when you're a kid, you see this, it makes you definitely want to keep playing the game. Beautiful force again with the small little elf guy hanging out on the little tree branch. Got Temple Acolyte, beautiful stained glass background, crazy looking staff. And she means business. One in a white. It's a one three. When it comes to play from your hand, you gain three life. Uh, young, yes. Inexperienced, yes. Weak. Uh, don't count on it. By Lubov. Very cool art. Love the stained glass feel. A beautiful plains again. Path of Peace. Three and a white. Looks like uh, just a beautiful assortment of corn and tomatoes and some sort of oranges, maybe, and apples. Their swords are hung up, letting you know that it's just a peaceful time for them. Destroy any one creature, that creature's owner gains four life. Interesting, for a card that says Path of Peace, you wouldn't think that it would destroy something. <laughs> Sorcery, a David H. here. Beautiful art, though. Uh, Talus Airship, fantastic R right here. Three in a blue. Look at the crazy colors on there. Mark Tenon, beautiful sunset. You got all sorts of, uh, like... Uh, winged ships flying over a beautiful zeppelin flying fantastic their ships pollute our airs and uh, themselves pollute our forest it's a three two creature foot flying very cool like to see how there's a lot of flying creatures in these sort of starter sets give creatures a lot of good abilities to learn got wild griffin two in a white flying over the huge city it's a flying creature it's two two very cool talus merchants hanging out just being merchants one in a blue a one three creature interesting that there's two of them very cool lovely art by love before got volunteer militia the farmer is taking to his pitchfork and he's about to fight you can see he's hiding behind the rocks and in the background shadowy figures are coming afoot people fight hardest on their own soil very true it's a one two by keith uh parkinson it's a one for a one two not bad beautiful island with the balloon or the parachute beautiful forest i love these forests love the little huts in the background Beautiful plains, the two homesteads again. Another beautiful island. Got Thief of Dreams. Crazy looking art. What is going on here? I don't know what's in his hand, but it looks like it's almost like a scrying glass or like a magic mirror. Two in a blue. Sorcery. For each tap creature your opponent has in play, you draw a card. 
that's pretty powerful. If your opponent has a bunch of tap creatures, if they have like five tap creatures, you can draw five cards. But it's very situational on your opponent's board state. Randy Gallagher's crazy looking art, and it's hard to tell what's happening, but these people are stranded on the island, and he's just watching them. <laughs> Got Time Ebb, crazy looking art by Sam Wood. Two in a blue, this creature just underwater being constricted or something, not sure what's happening. <laughs> Sorcery, return any one creature from play to the top of its owner's library. Very cool, nice ability. Got uh, Elborn Troper, uh, two in a white. She's standing out there protecting her castle. It's a 2 3 creature, and the both. Beautiful Talus Scout again, another Avon creature. Uh, one in a blue, it's a 1 2 flying creature pirate, just flying the sky. Scouting a battle before you fight. It is just good business by Heather Hudson. Beautiful. So, very cool. Nice little decks. Very cool to see that this is a 3-mana deck, and this one is a 2-mana deck. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, let's just check out these packs. I think these are just regular booster packs. I'm not sure if they're specific for these sets. They could just be the Portal Second Age booster packs with any cards in them, or I'm not really sure. But let's just open it up and have some fun with it. I can get this out of here. Okay, let's just see. Looks like I got Righteous Charge. One and two white. All your creatures get plus two, plus two till end of turn. Sorcery speed. If only it would be instant speed, that thing would just be a whole bunch of removal right there. Just a bunch of horses, people on horses charging right at you. Interesting orange and red sunset in the background. And this was drawn by Jeffrey R. Bush. <laughs> got Volcanic Hammer again. Had this one in the starter set. Hand of Death by Heather Hudson. Talus Merchants again from the starter set. Got Barb Tooth Worm, five and a green. Uh, Rebecca, Rebecca Gwai, her art is very, it's always uh, has a her feel to it. Definitely sort of watercolor, I would say. Six, four creature, just laying on the ground, morphing into the ground itself. Fantastic. Big old worm. Got a beautiful mind rot. Monstrous Growth. Have this card in my squirrel deck only because it's a giant squirrel. One in a green. Any one creature gets plus four, plus four till end of turn. If it was a source, if it was an instant speed, it would be better. But honestly, this has to go in a squirrel deck. It's just giant squirrels. And again, these sort of guys that are keep repeating in some of the art. These ones with the crazy spiky hair. Una Fricker. Got Tremor. One red sorcery. It deals one damage to each creature without flying by Pete Ventures. Very cool. Talos Airship. Goblin Firestarter, one red. Looks like he's going to start a fire inside of this tent. Interesting uh, uh, balance between the green and the tent right there. It's a 1-1 one, one Goblin. On your turn, before you attack, you may destroy Goblin Firestarter to have it deal one damage to any one creature or player. So I guess he's not very smart, and he burns himself. My Keith Parkinson. Thief of Dreams again. Beasting, fun-looking art. Got Magma Giant. Here we go, big old guy. Five and two red. Crazy looking art by my Michael Weaver. He's just playing in the magma. <laughs> when Magma Giant comes into play from your hand, it deals two damage to each creature and each player. It's a 5-5 five, five that can just do a board wipe if there's a bunch of small creatures. Crazy. In a beautiful island. In a beautiful swamp. Very cool. So two lands in those packs. I'm not sure if that's how they all came. All right, let's just open up this last one and have some fun. I think those are just regular portal second age booster packs. I'm not sure. But let's just have fun. Beautiful flying goblin. One and a red. He's on some sort of inflatable balloon. He got a dragon in the sky. He's got a weapon in his arm. And he's going to try to hit something. He's a 1-1 flying. But he can't block because he's on a big old balloon by Pete Ventures. Got lurking night stalker. Two black. Look at that. That's a creepy looking art right there. If it attacks, he gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. It's a 1-1 one, one that can become a 3-2. And he has a weapon in his hand. Kev Walker. Crazy art. By Extinguish. Interesting little misprint right here, by the way. I've seen this anywhere. I think all these ones have it. There's no circle around the little blue symbol right there. As opposed to, like, this one right here. You got the black-blue symbol. Very cool. Very cool thing right there. Play Extinguish only in response to another player's playing a sorcery. That sorcery has no effect, and that player puts it into his or her graveyard. So you can pretty much counter a sorcery. The lightning is going into the Sword of Sword by Douglas Shoulder. Got Norwood Archers 3 and a green. It can't block creatures with flying. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, it can block creatures with flying. Very cool. 3-3, three, three, pretty big, can get some fly. Bergueca Gwai drew it. Righteous Charge again. A volcanic Hammer is going to be the same order. Yep, Hand of Death. 
Yep. Hellas Merchant. Oh my, same order. River Bear. There we go. Cool looking bear with Island Walk. Three and a green. Beautiful bear by Una Frick. It's a 3-3. Three, three. And it has Island Walk. So if your opponent has an island, he can just swim on over and get on past an attack. Seagull in the background. Got Goblin Matron. Two and a red. It's a 1-1. One, one. When it comes into play... Uh, from your hand, search your library for a goblin card and put that card into your hand. Shuffle your libraries afterwards. So you pretty much can tutor up any goblin you'd like by Daniel Gleon. Very powerful. He has very bloody looking knuckles. Got Apprentice Sorcerer. Two and a blue. It's a 1-1. One, one. On your turn before you attack, you may tap Apprentice Sorcerer and have it deal one damage to any one creature or player. Prodigal Sorcerer, I would say, is just better. Because you have to do this specifically uh, before you attack. Christopher Rush and Beautiful Art. He's just, boom, pinging off the goblin. Got Norwood, uh... Priestess, 2-2 two two green. It's a 1-1 one, one elf. On your turn before you attack, you may tap Norwood Priestess to put any green creature from your hand into play without paying for it. Now that is a powerful card right there. Whatever creature is in your hand that's green, you can pretty much put it into play. Boom. Melissa A. Benson. Fantastic. Beautiful mountain and a beautiful forest. What a fun little set right here. I love checking out and opening up these old sets with you all. Very funny and interesting, well, I think so, that they literally just put the Portal Second Age two-player game inside of this box, uh, the gift box. It's literally was just wrapped up in there. Very interesting. So it's a fun little gift box. Comes literally the only difference between this and the gift box itself is the extra booster pack and this little piece of literature right here and the box itself, which is kind of nice. Nice little box. Oh, yeah, and must me not forget these small little glass beads. So what a cool little set. I really do like the factory form of this stuff. Nice to have uh, just a place for it. I'm not sure if like dice will fit in here. I feel like it won't. It looks like there's a little bit of muck on there as well. But very cool to open up and check out this check underneath it, this product with you all. I really enjoy these older Magic the Gathering products. So much fun for me to open up and check out. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. And I hope you learned something new or saw something that you've never seen before. Just so much fun. Anyways, I just want to say thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all doing wonderful today. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay positive and keep on keeping on.